We begin tonight with new information, voter suppression. Faculty members over at Southern University with the Law Center are hosting conversations just days before the midterm elections. They're focusing on who's impacted and where Louisiana stands now. Box 44's TC Muzinga shares those answers. Good evening. Voter suppression is known to influence the outcome of an election by preventing certain groups from voting. Voting is so razor thin in terms of margins that everyone is trying to find an advantage in the voting process. It's one of America's troubled histories. Chancellor John Pierre with Southern University's Law Center says these days voter suppression is a small issue in Louisiana, but it still exists and those limitations have an impact. Individuals who are convicted of felonies and serve time are constantly stripped of their right to vote. Louisiana was once known for having the highest incarceration rate in the U.S. with African Americans making up most of the population than other races. As of this summer, Oklahoma now has more people behind bars. That means we have a large number of people uh, who once they are, uh, get out of prison, they still can't vote. And so uh, we are in the process of finally getting rid of that. But that won't take effect, and some of that won't effect, take effect until, until March of next year. During the last legislation session, Pierre says State Representative Patricia Smith proposed a way to allow felons to use their voice during an election. Uh, Representative Smith introduced some legislation that will open the doorway for convicted felons to be able to vote sometime after their release. And when it comes to voting ID requirements, Louisiana has had them for years. Secretary of State Kyle Ardwin's page says you can use your driver's license, a special ID, or a recognized picture ID that shows your name and signature. In other places where you never had it before, it's clear that some of the reasoning behind it was to prevent uh, individuals from marginalized communities from voting. The conversation doesn't center plans to hold discussions on voting until election day. For Fox 44 News, I'm Ticia Muzinga. Ticia, thank you. We have a list of those events on our website at brproud.com.